Iowa, and I'd like to start my speech with a question to the audience. I know that all of you have female friends or acquaintances, and have you ever noticed it? how frequently have you been asking this question? Hey, look at my hands, look at my feet, do you think it's too big? Look at my cheek, do you think I'm too fat? If you have heard this question at least once in your life, you don't have to raise your hand. You can at least clap so I know that it's relatable to you. Yeah, I see, it is relatable. So, I know that from my own experience, I hear this question at least once from my friends and someone close I know. And the problem is that they are fat or they have problems with the body, it's not a problem. Everything is totally okay with them. The problem is that they have low self-esteem. I was interested in this topic and tried to look at the description and some statistics. And I have found that low self-esteem means that where an individual views himself as inadequate, insecure, and lovable. According to the statistics, around 40% of the girls at the school age try to lose weight, even so they don't have any problems with their body. And around 70% of the girls at the age 15 to 70 try to skip some daily activities, such as going to the school, whenever they feel insecure or bad about their looks. If 20% of the people struggle with depression, one of the top causes of it includes low self-esteem. It's not about statistics, because if low self-esteem is not identified or treated on time, it can lead to some severe outcomes, such as relationship troubles, troubles of making friends, feeling always anxious, angry, or ashamed of yourself. I need to admit that two years ago, I was this kind of the girl. When I was born, I was born as a chubby girl, and everything was totally okay until I reached my teenage years and started to question my attractiveness. I started to ask myself whether I was beautiful, and the answer was maybe I'm not, because I have never received any kind of compliment People were not saying me that I was beautiful, so I thought maybe I'm ugly. And that's why I decided not to wear any kind of bright colors. I was afraid of the color of red and yellow, and my favorite type of clothes were the clothes of the shape baggy style, maybe color of black and or gray, because I was afraid to bring a lot of attention on myself. But when my bachelor degree year started, I started to be a little bit brave and joined the CV club where we were producing a lot of the videos. I was the main reporter and I was supposed to be in the public. They were shooting a video, I was supposed to be there. But whenever I started to see my videos, I still felt insecure. I thought, oh look at my hand, it looks too fat there. Can we remove myself from the video? But the editor was, no, we cannot do that, you are the main like speaker, how can you not include you there? After the fifth episode, I tried to give up because I saw like I have tortured our video editor enough at that point, and I tried to accept it, and I tried to move on. I started to join other clubs, like book clubs, I started to join other projects, and I was so busy that I didn't have time to ask myself whether I was attractive or not, whether I was beautiful or not. And I came to the university and people were just passing by. I met my friends and they stopped at me and said, Hi, Mohlisa, you look beautiful today. And I was shocked because it was my first time receiving this kind of compliment. I stopped and looked at myself. I started to look at my clothes. The clothes were the same. I didn't have makeup, no makeup before, and did not have any kind of makeup at that time too. But people were saying that I am beautiful. And I started to ask myself, why? Why people are saying that I'm beautiful? Like, I am the same type of the girl I was before, but people were complimenting me. And at the same week, I have read one interview of the one famous photographer asking from the audience, what is one attractive quality which makes woman or girl beautiful? What do you think was the audience reply? Like, what was it? Woman's eyes, hair, their clothes. What makes woman beautiful? What is that thing or quality? Yeah, confidence. He said it's their self-confidence what makes women special and beautiful. We don't need a good makeup or clothes to be beautiful. We just need self-confidence and believe that you are beautiful. I 
started to think about it a lot. I started to notice how many people, how many girls live with perceived flaws that they forget how awesome they are. And you don't need a good body to be have a that good body image. If you feel and like yourself, you will boost your self-esteem. I tried to follow it. I tried to join other clubs and I went for the election of students' union campaign. I decided to believe myself and I was supported by 1,187 people. More than 1,000 people voted for me and elected me as students' union educational affairs executive. The girl who was afraid to be in the crowded places started to organize presentation in front of 300, 400 people. The girl who was afraid to come to the presentation was speaking in front of so many people. And the things have changed a lot. I started to believe myself. And I so that it's not about what the world thinks of you. It's about what you see yourself, how you see yourself when you glance in the mirror. And see the beauty in the mindset. The way you see and perceive yourself influences on others. If you think that you are beautiful, people will think that you are awesome and beautiful too. If you think that you are smart, people will think that you are smart too. And your attitude today shapes your future and you are in control of everything else in it. You should focus on what makes you happy, blossom and grow in your life. And the best is yet to come. I decided to change myself and I was able to do it. And now I feel beautiful. And I hope that every single girl in this audience or in this world will feel beautiful about themselves too. Thank you.